Hey there friends, on today's video, we are going to be unboxing, testing, linking, and doing a quick review on this foot pedal based page turner that pairs perfectly with your iPad. This is a great feature for musicians that are using sheet music on stage and need to switch between document pages when they have their hands full, like if they're playing an instrument. So again, this was a cheap little item on Amazon. Let's go ahead and get into the process. Okay, so this specific pedal switch is made by this Chinese company here. As you can see on the front of the box, it definitely comes in a generic kind of Chinese branded box. Again, it was only roughly $35 on Amazon. That is almost half the price of the US based uh, pedal switches that you can also purchase on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can pick those up. I'll put one uh, for this specific pedal as well as one for another uh, US based company that again is a little bit higher on the price. So we're gonna see if this thing holds up, if it works good. Again, the price point is perfect at $35. It's gonna connect via Bluetooth to our iPad. And again, as I mentioned before, this is perfect for musicians. I'm actually a worship leader at our local church. I use the iPad to look at sheet music and lyrics and things like that. And I'm holding my guitar and so I don't want to just swipe on my iPad. I wanna be able to hit this with one of my feet and have the pages switch for me for different music that we are using. Now again, the contents of this uh, packaging are just what you can see here. We have some instruction uh, manuals here as well as some item specifics on the model number and that kind of thing. We have the actual switch that came in some bubble wrap. Here is the model number you can see right there as well again as the company branded name. And then it comes with this little charging cable uh, looks like it is micro USB to regular USB. And so obviously this is what we're going to use to charge the uh, pedal because it connects via Bluetooth. So again, this can just sit wirelessly on the stage with you in a nice little feature. So you can see on the back, that is where we are going to put our micro USB charging cable in. And so that's what I'm gonna start out doing right now. Let's go ahead and give this a charge up. Once it's charged, I will go ahead and show you how to pair it to an iPad. Okay, so here's how you charge the pedal. As you can see, I've got that micro USB cable plugged in the back. We've got a red light indicating charging. I've got the cable that runs right up to our little uh, power block here. This is a USB slash uh, power strip that you can plug directly into your wall outlet. Again, if you don't have one of these, just grab one of these uh, USB uh, plug adapters and you can plug into any wall outlet. Okay, so now that we're fully charged on our pedal, it's time to pair it with our iPad so we can switch our music. So what I'm gonna do is actually turn the foot pedal on just by moving the power button over here. You'll see the green light start to flash. In just a second, you'll see that red, green, blue light start flashing as it does right there. That means it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. So let's come over here to our iPad and I'm just gonna hit the settings button. And then once we are in our settings, I'm gonna come over here and hit the Bluetooth. And that is going to bring up all of the Bluetooth compatible devices that are nearby. So right there is what we are looking for. That's our specific pedal. I'm just gonna click on that. It'll take just a second here and that should pair. As you can see, it's connected now. Okay, now that we have it paired, we have to set it up so that this is going to switch the document that we are using. So again, there's two different things we need to look at now. First, we need to have all of our music in a document that this is able to control. Second, we need to choose the type of controls that we want it to be operating. So right now we have an up down switch, which will page up and down. We also have number two, and you can actually switch that by clicking this middle button. That's gonna move the pages right or left based off of, again, how they're set up in your specific system. We also have number three, again, this is an up and down. So number four is going to be a left mouse click or a right mouse click that is going to basically be used when you push on these buttons. And then the last one, is actually a space bar or an enter symbol. So again, those are the keys that it's going to be using when you hit these specific buttons. So I'm actually gonna to go to the left right because that is the type of swiping that we usually do when we are reading our specific music on the iPad. It's time to create a set list that we can control with our foot pedal. So to do this, I am going to use PikaScore, which is an app that you can download from the App Store here on an iPad. 
and it works perfectly. Again, this is going to be similar process with any Android-based products. Again, you have to find the app that works best for you. So let's go ahead and open up this specific app here. And I already have a couple of sheet music things imported. So again, this app is a little bit uh, complicated. It just takes a few minutes to kind of get used to. Once you get used to it, it's great. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our first uh, piece of music here that we'd be playing. Again, we have our foot pedal down on the floor connected wirelessly. And now if I push on the right hand side, you can see that it automatically switches. Let me give you a little bit better view coming up here. If I click again, you can see that it goes to our next song in the set list. If you need to go back, obviously we're going to use this side of the pedal and it will go backwards. So again, you can kind of mess around with these specific functionality to figure out what that is best for your style of music that you're looking at. Uh, the other thing that's cool with this uh, Pika is you can actually write on here notes and things like that. Again, we'll do a more of a deep dive on this specific app later on this channel, so subscribe and stay tuned for that. Friends, I hope this has helped. If it has, let us know with a thumbs up. Again, this is uh, appears to be working really great. We'll give it a whirl here on the next Sunday where we are leading and let you know what we think. And uh, if this has helped, hit that thumbs up button for us. Let's know we're making good videos for you. Stay tuned, we're making a bunch more tech video tutorial videos that are coming up, and those will be released soon. Thanks so much for watching.